Hey YouTube, so it's a special day. We are here at Grey Wolf Golf Course, the number one public course in BC, number six in Canada, and this place is absolutely next level. Before we get to the good stuff, please remember to subscribe. We've got a two-part video coming out, front nine, back nine. We're going to do a best ball format to see if we can get close to that 72 mark from the back tees. And I'm joined by golf photographer Tanner Cole. Make sure you give him a follow on Instagram. Tanner, how are you feeling? Feeling unbelievable. Honestly, thanks for having me out. The course is in immaculate condition. And I've played this course before, actually, but not in real life. On a video game, Lynx 2004, back in the old Xbox days. Um, the only Canadian course on that video game, so that's got to tell you something. That's got to tell you something, for sure. So, as always, lots of trees on this course, so you better be keeping the ball straight. Starting off with hole number one here, which is a par four straight up the mountain. You're about 270 yards into that second bunker by the clump of trees there from the back tees. And uh, you've got a creek that runs the entire length of the hole and actually leads to a split fairway. So you want to kind of keep it middle of the fairway to give yourself a good angle of attack. And a three-tiered green, which makes it uh, challenging if you're on the wrong tier, you could have a slippery downhill putt. Hang on. Oh yeah, fairway. So Tanner and I both leaked our drives off to the right-hand side a little bit. Um, thankfully, just with the upslope and the shape of the fairway, we were able to avoid the bunkers. Oh, that's beauty. Oh yeah, and Tanner is dancing in two. Let's go. I just caught this a little chunky and ended up uh, crossing the creek about 50 yards short of the green. Oh! What? Is that COVID rules? I don't know, man. That for oh sure should have dropped. There we go. We're par That's through one. <laughs> so hole two here is a pretty straight on par four up the mountain. You've got a 200 yard carry over those bunkers on the left, so they're not really in play. And main rule of thumb here is just keep everything down the left hand side because it does funnel right, especially up at the green. So smooth. <laughs> so a couple good tee shots from both Tanner and myself. There we go. That'll work. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I got a good kick. I got a good kick to the right. Oh, that's gonna be tight. Okay, a couple of birdie looks here for the boys. There we go. Come on. Good par. Come on back. Oh. oh! Okay, well. A uh, pair of pars on hole one, a pair of pars on hole two. Hole number three here, the one cap on the course is a very intimidating par five, 513 yards, but it plays a lot longer with the upslope. You are 300 yards to those bunkers on the right hand side there. On your second shot, if you're going for it especially, you've got three bunkers to carry there. and You gotta keep it to the right hand side while still avoiding the trees. Up at the green, there's a false front, so everything will roll back. Tanner taking a fairly aggressive line here off the tee, but it would pay off in the end. And that might have been a perfect cut around the corner. We'll find out when we get up there. And I took a bit of a safer approach with a little punch draw. Alrighty guys, Ben and Tanner here. We are uh, just carting up hole three. The swing is feeling good, but beyond that, Nothing really matters when you're playing Grey Wolf because this place is just spectacular. Truly something else. Every hole is so unique. Lots of sand traps. You got the creeks and the water, and of course, the mountains. So Tanner pulling out the trusty forward and he oh, would so pump pure. this up to the green 
Looking at an eagle putt here. The guy was on fire. Is that an eagle putt? Cut. Oh, that found the bunker. No. So I made the mistake of uh, playing five iron. It was a good shot. And uh, I misplaced my four iron during my last round. So it was either five iron or gapper. I figured gapper might have gone a bit long and ended up in the sand here. But gotta get a taste of the sand at Grey Wolf sooner or later. So why not make it early? Stay up on that ridge. Stay? It's coming back. Oh no! No! Oh, I thought that was so good. That's Good unreal. Time, it's all you with the eagle pile on this one. It's a good chip though. So Tanner's putt here will give you a pretty good gauge of how steep the front of the green really is here, uh, having left it about six feet short there. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Tanner is one under, best ball is one under. But I mean, when you're uh, playing as good as Tanner is, <laughs> I can just take a back seat and enjoy the views. So time to head back down the mountain with hole number four. Uh, it's a lengthy par four, but plays a lot shorter thanks to the uh, down slope that we're playing through. The clump of trees on the right hand side there is about a 340 yard drive from the back tees, but still reachable because of how elevated these tee boxes are. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> All right. So Tanner, once again, steady Eddie with the driver right down the middle. I flared this one way off to the right, ended up on hole three. So I was relying on Tanner here. Left side bunker. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. The guy's carrying the team. Look at that. What a bunker shot from Mr. Tanner. Well done. So here we've got hole number five, which is one of my all time favorite golf holes. It's a 570 yard par five down the hill. Bunkers on the right there are 200 yard carry and you're 240 to those bunkers on the left there. Very long hitters could potentially get close to the creek because of the down slope. It is definitely reachable in two for most golfers, but that second shot is very intimidating heading over the creek. You pretty much have to be on the green or you can bail out to the right if you need to into that bunker there. On a string. out a bit more today. Second shot here on this par five. Uh, you know, a bomb could definitely get you to that creek if you hit it deep. And we've got 230 to the green. So it is still reachable, but a seven iron, 180 layup shot is the club of choice for me today. So two different strategies on this hole. I went gapper and followed up with the layup shot. It. It's gonna work just fine and he would be pulling out the trusty forward once again to see if he can make it there in two. <laughs> Dude, stop hitting it so good. That's gotta be dancing. It's, got, it's close. It's close, might be just short. Oh, dude, you're putting. <laughs> uh, two for two on the eagle putts on par fives. Just side 100, front pin. Try to put her close, make a puff of birdie. Oh, that is looking great a little deep perfect got some action he's putting for bird folks any thoughts on that approach shot oh, so that's what it feels like to hit a green and rig feels good oh you hate to see it ah oh. Sorry, Tanner, but I'm putting the pressure on you to make this birdie putt. <laughs> oh. 
ruthless. Man, that's tough. So, some missed birdie opportunities, but hey, we're still at one under. Things are looking up. Okay, you two, we are coming up to the infamous cliffhanger hole. First look as we come around the trees. Now moving on to the six hole at Grey Wolf cliffhanger. The biggest difference here is from the gray tees, you don't have an elevation change, whereas the other tees, they are elevated tees. So it makes the hole play a little bit shorter. From grays, you're 200 yards, very intimidating shot, but be sure to just soak in the view, enjoy this hole when you're playing it. Try not to worry about the chasm below. And if you lose a ball, you lose a ball. He's dancing. Get up. Dancing. Okay, we got uh, Tanner here on cliffhanger. The panoramic views. Button for bird. Great roll. Love to see it. Hole seven here is a par four that sweeps from right to left. Uh, you've got those bunkers off in the distance if you cut the corner perfectly. Those are 340 yards from the back tees. Uh, so the trees on the right hand side are in play the entire length of the hole. And just gotta find the fairway on this one, which is tough to do because the look off the tee, as you can see on Tanner's shot here, doesn't show you a lot of fairway, so it's a bit of an intimidating tee shot, but a very, very fun hole. Just keep it to that left side, cut the corner, and you should be in good standing. So Tanner cut the corner nicely, ended up uh, actually on the right-hand side of the fairway, but a really good look at the green. Yeah, it's a good shot. So case in point on why you uh, want to keep it to the left side on this one. Got some trees here, going to try and sling it around. bit more. Thankfully I had a nice easy look out so I could uh, get close to the green in two and had a little pitch on to try and go up and down for par. What do you mean? I guess I thought I just did not hit that at all. I didn't think you hit it either and then it just kept going. <laughs> No. Very nice. Okay, Tanner at one under. Best ball at one under. Hole number eight here, time to bring out the big dog. It's a dog leg right, so as a righty who plays a cut, this hole was basically made for me. It's reasonably open, not a ton of trouble other than some trees off the tee. 446 yards, so you wanna get as much distance as you can to put yourself into a range where you can have a good look at the green. Stand time. Sit down. Just lights out from the sand today, Tanner. Nice shot, buddy. All I was saying to my head was don't leave it short. What did I do? Leave it short. Yeah, we're in for a par. Didn't break at all. It's a bogey. First bogey of the day. But thank goodness for freaking frack. And wrapping up the front nine here with hole number nine. It's a short par three, 17 cap. So if you can get the water out of your head, really not a lot to worry about here. Uh, bail out to the right, 
reasonably flat and easy green compared to some of the greens we've seen so far. And so both Tanner and I got caught afraid off the tee. We flared these out to the right, so did not have great looks at par, unfortunately. I hit this bunker shot exactly how I wanted to, but it came up short, kind of got caught in the rough and trickled onto the green there. And Tanner trying to keep the under par round alive. Oh, Tanner coming in clutch again. Look at that shot. Tap that in. Okay, the par save, which means we are one under through nine holes and Tanner in and of himself is even par through nine. That's a nine hole score right there, folks. We'll see how things go in the back, but trying to take this positive energy to number 10. You'd love to see it. Alrighty, YouTube, so there you have it. The front nine at Grey Wolf Golf Course. Just remember, hit the subscribe button. We got the back nine coming your way in one week from today and we are one under. So can we break 72 in a best ball score? If Tanner keeps playing the way he's been, I'm sure we can. I think we can. Let's do it. Let's go.